So I wasn't here when people were doing the maze. I was in the other house. Green and I think onions. This is a lot faster. Yeah, but I find it easier to do the way I do it. Which is your, just your hands? Yeah, but you just have to remove... With a knife? Yeah. First thing is to make a line. Once you've made a line, things move. These have been dried up. I thought Stucky is supposed to be eating that maize. They are really enjoying. Let me show you guys. Like, I don't know. Are they supposed to be here? They're really enjoying it. Goodness. What do we do? Mama, they'll just like they'll never finish so because they usually i'm sure they do this already they really put them in. yeah and they look like they're sorting <laughs> <laughs> but i just hope they don't poop on it i don't know somehow i just feel like they're not meant to be here Probably, it's almost it like the 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 maze was on on their path and then they're like, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, as they pass and go to the grass. Yeah, they're well, enjoying grass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's some two small ones. Yeah, Have you seen the two small chicks? The turkey chicks. Yeah, this one and that, that one. They are mm. ill. So, yeah. This is the first ever male turkey that has that doesn't chase people. <laughs> ah, I was you, I'm so scared of turkeys. Well, male turkeys. Just look at this family. Okay, there are many. That's a lot of meat. Oh, look, a rugby match with the chicks. Yeah, but the only a grasshopper maybe i think it's a grasshopper yeah. it's run away so far from its mom yeah because that's the one to share yeah the other, yeah it's a grasshopper yeah. hey i am in vihiga yep nice warm weather here nice fresh air and yeah it's just lovely and so we are sorting no we are removing the maize from the cobs that's kind of like the constant of the day and uh, just came out to chase the turkeys from the maize but they were just passing through apparently they're not bothered Nobody bothers to chase them from the maze <laughs> as long as they don't leave their droppings there. And all this maze is to make flour. For what? <laughs> Ugali. Let me show you some red and purple maze. Look at these red ones. And this, this is not colored. This is the way they were on the maze cob. I'm very curious to know if the ugali from this would be reddish. And these ones have yellow and purplish seeds. Some red ones, these red ones should be on this side. Yeah. But most of the ones we are sorting are just the white ones. around 5 30 now well 
maybe 26. It's already rained. It rained lightning and thunder. And for every time there was lightning, I missed it because I blinked. I blinked every single time there was lightning. But the thunder was like right here. And that's the usual weather here, by the way. It can be really hot and sunny in the morning. And then in the afternoon, it pours. And they can be hail, lightning and thunder. Um, this is Vihiga for you. So it's chilly. Yeah, it's actually a bit chilly now. I got my, um, what is this? My usual Buell jumper, which I'm going to put on to get warm for the evening. And we'll see how tomorrow goes. See you later. There is none interference yeah. with the exception of B2 that. Like the, like the top, like, like, yeah. Like Dick. Who loves pumpkin? Yeah. Anybody loves pumpkin? Yep. Uh, I love it in Chapati. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, anyway, those who are doing it in Chapati put up your hands. Oh, yeah, yes. Those who are doing it like this, put up your hands. Yeah, in Chapati. In Chapati? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Chapati has got in the water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm returning it. Oh, mm -hmm. I want to the taste. Oh, even, yes. even mommy, even me. Let me leave uh, one one piece in two, three pieces for mommy, for myself, and for Google. Okay. And then I'll take the rest. Okay. Oh. Smell my hand. I have lotion. Smell on his hand. Oh, but there's so much powder, so we can't really get in there. Yeah, plus Boots. Who is this? We need to find out from Uncle Fee who she is. Mm -hmm. Is it? it? Yeah. It shows you. Mm-hmm. Now I can. I need to know who this is because I think this is the oldest one. And there are the others. You can see us, but we can't get there. Oh, no, that you're called Anali. Yeah, Anali. So gentle. Such a gentle. Anali is a gentle cow. Just look at her. I remember her grandma. She was called Sally. Such gentle cows. Gentle cows can't go in there because it is super. It is super cow dangy. So I can't go in there to say hi to the others. Just look at how gentle she is. Oh. 
Yeah, especially the stones, if the stones weren't there. This is Vianzi. No, Vianzi is the last one. <laughs> Imbi, is this an Elise? Ah. No, you guys, one of those, these black and white cows is an Elise, okay? Yeah. A, a long time ago, yeah. So I'm talking about, yeah. So I'm asking, is this one the new one? Not the new one, but. Yeah, so this is an Elise that we've just taken a video with at the shed I know <laughs> I'm trying to avoid stopping this video <sighs> you see how close she gets to me but it's so dark is she going to come and graze right at my shoes It's been a good day. It's been a wonderful day. Uh, of course, just sitting around, uh, besides eating and doing the maze, we checked on the cows. I'm not a cow person. Every time I come, I have to ask um, for their names. I don't, I don't know their names. Um, but it's they, you know they're so peaceful and so graceful creatures. Maybe one day. I will like cows. I don't hate them. I'm just not endeared towards them. Is that is that the right way to use that word? Anyway, uh, so what shags as kids was never like this. Us guys, and I think for most African women my age in Africa, I think our parents uh, grew up in the complete dark era. And part of our lives are like that. And when I say dark era and dark continent, I mean no, electric no electricity in the village. That's how it was on both sides of my parents. So going to the village meant no telly, of course, no lights. Mm, for some people, they had a pressure lamp. As guys, yeah, we upgraded to uh, like a gas lamp. Total introduced that. So we used to have a brighter light that was in the living room if you had to go to the bedrooms you still had to carry the chimney lamp so that was most of our upbringing actually i tell my kids that they are lucky that they even get to watch telly they get to watch <gasps> cartoon network what's that in my shags that's my dad's side we uh we got a telly when i was already in high school and getting a telly didn't mean that we had electricity. My parents bought a generator that we could use for the telly and lights. But it was mainly because there was a show that used to air and was called, oh, The Bold and the Beautiful. That's the one. When The Bold and the Beautiful hit, uh, was it KTN? I'm sorry, I forget. But when it hit the nation, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. Husbands and wives were at home sitting in front of the telly to watch this gripping telenovela. I mean, it's a soap. It's not a telenovela, but you know, telenovelas were built from this, from this format. So what happened is whenever we had to go to Shags, it meant that my parents would be blocked out from the series for those, what, Christmas and New Year's. Yeah, so I think they would miss two weekends and became unbearable. Anyway, I think it was around the third year. My parents decided we are not going to miss a single episode. So they got a generator, which also hooked up some lights in the house. And then they were not able to miss. Now, this is funny because I was teased. So how were they able to watch KBC? I think it was KBC. 
how were they able to watch KBC and TZ? Where we live, like if you put the aerial really high up, you could catch KBC. Back back then, you know, these days there's cable and you can catch these things wherever you are as long as you're paying for cable. But those days it was an aerial receptor, you know, like the reception was receiving <laughs> frequencies from the air. And so, yeah, if you put that post or the aerial really, really high, they were able to catch KBC. Anyway, I think that's enough for today. I don't know what the village life is for you right now at 46 or how it was for you when you were little, especially if you grew up in deep darkest Africa um, and like now you're in town. I'm very curious to know how different it is for those people that actually grew up in the village because that's a whole other thing you know yeah so we're grateful um i'm very grateful for this home i'm grateful for this homestead and i'm grateful for how far we've come as a nation you know kenya is quite progressive so there you have it uh i am now going to have a shower oh yes that's another thing when i grew up we did not have a shower in the village like you heat water on the kettle or sufuria, which is a cooking pot, and then pour that hot water in the bucket and then cool it. And that's what you use with a jug to, you know, bathe. Okay, I'm going to take a shower. We are checking out a site here in Kakamega. Kakamega is about 30 minutes from Vihiga. No, that's not right. From the house where we were in. Um, that is our home to this site. It's about 30, 30 minutes. Yeah, so we came to, from Vihiga County, we came to Kakamega County. So we're checking out this site where we've done the foundation, but it's not leveled. So that's, that's another challenge in the village is finding good, not just craftsmanship, but uh, contractors. Okay, another thing about village um, land is the people in the village, that is those who have settled there, they're free to plant and use the ground, plant their maize, plant beans, and utilize the space. So here, you can see someone's skumas, uh, you can see someone's maize, and you know, and when you start construction, hopefully they've harvested and you just carry on with what you have to do with the land. So for us, it was very important to put up the this slab because it's a nice plot. According to Kakamega County, this is still within, it's seen within the municipality, so it's close to town and it's a highly it's high market these grounds if you look at our neighbors houses they're ginorm 
but we're not plan planning to do a big house it's meant to be a rental so not massive uh, three bedroomed bungalow is the plan for this place and this place uh, it kind of slopes down to the river so that's also nice as an attraction that it's not completely flat that's a good thing let's have a look at the river is there is there water in the river did you get to the river oh you did yeah oh okay i know it's like a stream or a brook it's a brook and a footbridge yeah oh yeah nice footbridge Mm. That's a lot more water than we've ever found here. This? Yeah, I feel like it's a lot more water than we've ever found. So when you were asking if there's water, you meant like, is there water? Yes. <laughs> oh, is it trickling? Oh, no. Wow, you can see that massive house from here. That's the one that we saw. When we were really? I don't think so. Me, I think this is next to it. I think it's the one. Huh. Where, Noni? Where? Oh, maybe it's in this house again. Well, mm. well, more of a rental, Noni. Yeah. Which means. Mm. More of a rental, meaning other people renting the space. Yeah, that's what this looks like for now. The place had stayed without occupancy for a long time and we had to put a slab quickly before the county government repossesses the land because of not being utilized for more than 10 years. So, hence the slab. So we don't know how long it's going to stay as a slab before an actual thing comes up, like an actual building or... or house but a slab is better than nothing isn't it it gives promise yeah these are things of in your middies in your midlife mid lessons um, planning you know pension is not guaranteed in these sites of Africa pension can be especially if you're employed like my husband's employed pension can be eaten by someone and then when you go on retirement you find that there is no pension you're being given 2500 a month as subsistence no that can't work so that's the plan with this as a rental um, to be an income earner um, as well as another property which we have and you guys have already seen it in Nairobi to be a rental so this is not a farmhouse this is a house in the town yeah planning that is planning for retirement right so actually the route to this place is over there but it has a barrier because of uh, the estate we need to secure the gatedness of that community so they have put that mabati wall and now we come in through the back just to view or access the plot <coughs> So this is no longer about adulting here. This is retirement plans. When you live in a system where your pension, the pension is not guaranteed. You have to make plans for how you're gonna make money for the next 40 or so years. Because you have many years after retirement. Many. It's almost like another 
span <laughs> of life, another lifespan. Yeah, so that's it. So I've come into um, the new Naivas in Kakamega. It's a new mall, not just Naivas, but it's a new mall. fun construction is not fun Kakamega the trip just the fact that we got out of here is fun I have a parcel from my sister my little sister she sent it to me she sent it to me when I was still in Nairobi and I picked it up I need to unpack this now let's see the dealers that she got for me from Da okay so some of them are for my other sister um so you will only get to see the ones that are mine and what belong to my other sister obviously i'm not going to share let's have a look let's see what what she got for me oh yeah and while you are it can we please just talk about retirement and then i'll wind up this video what is retirement for you what does it mean I don't really like the word retirement because it kind of implies that you're no longer going to be working. Most Kenyans are not in employment. Mo most Kenyans are hustling. I am hustling, which basically means juakali. Like I look for the work, I get it, I do it, and then I finish it. Am I ever going to retire? I mean, we are always making retirement plans, which is great. My husband is much better at it because for him, his career has moved so smoothly. Like it's been perfect. <laughs> it's almost like that's how he planned for it to go. So that's great for him. So like for him to think about retirement is like, it's obvious. But for me, I feel like my work, like my work life, is in its infancy. I like to be in a position where I don't have to hustle, you know, every single day and I still have an income. That that would be great. Because I'm not employed. Oh t-shirts. Okay, I'm not gonna share the t-shirts. Um t-shirts are for other people's all right. Oh, there are the dealers. Okay. Oh. Okay, I think, yeah. So here's dealer number one. You probably can't see the color very well, but it is like a navy with some beige little dots. It's like a night sky. I like it. I'm just going to reduce the hem. I really like it. All right, here is a question for you. What, what does retirement mean for you? Please share in the comments. And here's dealer number two. I love the colors. Okay, here's a question number two. If you are my age, which is mid forties, African, uh, hopefully, please tell me what plans you've made for retirement have you bought a shamba somewhere 
in the village, have you bought a house somewhere that is a rental or a forever home? Please share in the comments. Share in the comments and let's just encourage those who are much younger than us and uh, also completely or maybe not also completely unprepared but they might be unprepared so please share in the comments and here is number three remember to like this video if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one